Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video where I choose just one of the signals from our stock scanner membership area and set it up using our Elliott Wave indicator suite. So first of all, in our members area, our members get the opportunity to download spreadsheets for potential long fifth wave trades on the weekly, daily and 60 minute time frame and similarly for short fifth wave trades and also stochastic longs and shorts on intraday time frames as well. Uh, today I'm going to look at uh, the long. Um, this time I'm going to look at 60 minute time frame uh, but in our members area for long fifth wave trades each day as you can see we go back quite a long way. Uh, they just click on the image, download the spreadsheet for the day. Today's spreadsheet looks like this. As you can see at the bottom of the spreadsheet, we've got weekly, daily and 60 minute. I'm looking at the 60 minute today and I've chosen WM, Waste Management Inc, on the 60 minute for a potential long fifth wave trade. So let's have a look and see what that looks like on a chart. So this is the think or swim version of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. It's also available for TradeStation, MultiCharts and NinjaTrader. First of all, for those members that have got the Indicator Suite, we've got a bit of a paradox down here at, at these lows um, where we've got really a double bottom so uh, you can isolate at that um, at this this doji here um, but also depending on the data that comes through for whether it's trade station ninja trader or, or multi charts you may have to adjust slightly to the right uh, to this this other double bottom low here or just slightly beyond there to get that wave count here um, but you know we're, we're around that we're around that lows. This is where the trend is. Uh, we've got the wave three, the wave falls pull back and just tipped on the green zone there, which is brilliant. The green zone is an 85% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones here. So let's just go through the basic filters we have on the scanner membership. Uh, area so the first filter is this wave 4 pullback has tipped uh, gone into one of our high probability zones here which is uh, in our um, Elliott Wave indicator suite uh, the next that the wave 4 has pulled back between 90 and 140 percent on the 535 oscillator which it has done here looks good looks like it crowned yesterday as well and also our stochastic has pulled back against a false breakout indicator, this yellow uh, false breakout indicator there, which denotes a strong bullish move. And we've pulled back against there. And the likelihood is it wants to go back and return to that strong bullish move. And that's what we want to trade, that fifth wave move. It's the highest probability move in a trend. And that, so let's go through the setup for this particular trade. So the first issue that we got is the 6-4 moving average high, the green moving average here is where our initial entry um, criteria comes from. This is part of our Elliott Wave indicator suite. But also we've got this doji here, this tombstone. I think really we need to be just above this high of this as well. So we're going to be outside the 6-4 moving average high for today's first hour. Uh, candle because this is the hourly the 60 minute time frame on WM and so an 8409 entry for the long is sensible we're above that high the stop loss just below the wave for low there at 8346 that gives us a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 the top end of our target zone there around about $85 is our target there so very simple from our stocks signals uh, membership get lots and lots of signals each day uh, and we're just looking for that pullback that wave 4 pullback we've got those basic filters on there that wave 4 has pulled back into one of our uh, probability zones just tipped it in this case but that's good uh, we have the 535 pulling back between 1940 and the stochastic crossing over in the oversold zone. We're just looking for this to continue its move away from this support level through 8409 and that's where we would enter this trade. Uh, with it being uh, on the 60 minute time frame we would look for that with it being Wednesday today to hit target um, before the end of the week in theory. Uh, whether we carry that over the weekend or not, depending on where it is on, on the profit scale, 
Uh, I don't know, but sometimes it can go in and hit it in a day. So that's it for today. Potential long on the 60 minute time frame for WM with the entry at 84.09, the target around about 85, 85.10, and the stop loss 83.46. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day, and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.